Petra, since you're from here, please say a few words. Um, not to put you on the spot. Um, and then I asked um, John Strand from the City of Fargo Commission to also maybe say a word or two. Um, and then I'll read the, the statement. Lenore doesn't want me to put her on the spot, so I'll hand it over to Petra. Um, I'm glad to be home this weekend. I'm currently in Fargo working on my master's in public health. And I'm glad, really honored to be standing here with the city commission um, from Fargo, the Native American Commission, who does great work and advocacy for the Indian people in the community of Fargo. Um, one of the things that i was been thinking about as I'm uh, away from home here is um, calling and supporting my mother, Phyllis, and always reminding myself that our words are powerful. The written word is really powerful. And so writing letters um, to the editor, writing into the newspapers, writing your articles your, um, to the Associated Press, doing press releases, getting on Facebook, and putting the truth out there. And that was one of the things I woke up thinking about this morning, is to hold on to your truth, and hold on to what it is that you see and you hear, and stick to that truth, because that truth is important for all of us, for all of the protection of us. And so when something happens, write it down document it and stick to the truth don't exaggerate don't add in anything because it's important that our we, we stick to that truth and that all of our actions as individuals affects the whole camp and the safety of the camp is important so i just wanted to share that with you um Good afternoon, everybody. My name is John Strand. I'm with the City of Fargo's Commission and the Native American Commission in my third year. I, I want you to know that it's uh, an uh, absolute honor to be standing with the people today here representing 100 tribes or more from every corner of the earth, all four corners, to be standing with the, the millions of people around the planet that are here with you in spirit and stand with you in, in, in solidarity, to be standing here with your ancestors, with your children of the future, and in a shared vision for a, a, a better tomorrow for all of us. So um, again, it's on behalf of the Fargo Native American Commission, which, which by the way is the very first Native American Commission created by any city in the entire country. So we bear this honor as well. Uh, last, last year, some of you might recall that we were one of the very first cities in, in the entire United States to abolish Columbus Day and replace it with Indigenous Peoples Day, and it was our honor to do that. I, I'm with you in spirit. I will report back to the leaders of Fargo, the peace and the prayer, the heart and the soul of all of you and your efforts. And, and I wish you all peace as you work toward a resolution that's for the greater good of everybody. So from the City of Fargo Native American Commission, here's our statement of support. Standing Rock Sioux Chairman David Archibald, Arshambo second, asks for declarations of support. The Fargo Native American Commission now joins the now over 100 tribes and hundreds of cities in declaring our friendship and support to our North Dakota relatives. The construction and approval of the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline would endanger the health of Unshibmaka, Mother Earth, quality of water, ancestral lands, and future generations of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. It is a fact that treaty after treaty has been broken by the privilege of people in power, which has been followed by forced removal from ancestral lands. It is shameful that the state uses the name Dakota and is blind to the historic grief and wrongdoings, to the spirituality, traditions, and culture of Dakota and other tribes. We ask our community to continue to aspire to higher standards to protect, protect the human right of dignity, respect, and quality of life. 
The Fargo Native American Commission supports the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in its stand to keep the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline from crossing treaty lands and calls for restraint and a calm, peaceful resolution to the decision on the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline. The Native American Commission's mission is to strengthen the Native American community to promote understanding, recognition, and respect for cultures to enrich the community as a whole. One of the Native American Commission's guiding values is good stewardship of resources, funds, land, water, air, natural resources, people, especially our children. We stand with the warriors of Standing Rock and we give them our love, strength, courage, and blessing for we, the urban tribes of the Fargo-Moorhead area, families and friends, join as one soul, one spirit, and one voice and we give to them our spiritual energy from the, for the sacred path of protecting our first medicine, water. We support the courage and honesty to do what is morally right for Mother Earth, Earth who nurtures her children and all future generations, all of the creatures on the Earth, including humans. Poisonous chemicals such as those from, from an oil pipeline threaten and injure our mother. I always seek the truth. The truth lies within our spirit, mini wikoni, Water is life, no D-A-T-L. How you dock your be? Right, we chasha husk and mile of a whole week chasha. You all will slot the hitcher. Good afternoon, friends and relatives. Um, I'm a council representative from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Um, welcome to the camp. If you just came today, but I'm here to accept this letter for the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. So I just wanted to share that Wola Kota is very important to us in meaning that peaceful relationship with the government. We ask for that respect, not for us as a council, but for our people, for our children, for all the people, so that we have that relationship for the generations to come. The water, the land, the air, very important to us as people as it is to you. So with that, I ask my nephew to come and sing a song. Um, I know he just, he, he was just, uh, he just did a song, but I asked him because that's his, that's his uh, forte. So with that, my, my uh, Pushka will sing Sitting Bull song for this letter and for the support that's been given. <laughs> 